Here is a list of my courses, and let's choose the course talking about the USMLE cases and quizzes. And let's scroll down the cases and choose, for example, this one. In today's case discussion, we have a mechanic who came to the clinic complaining of enlargement of both knees. His symptoms starting a few months ago and have been progressive since then. Upon examination, there is no pain with either passive or active movement. The knees don't appear warm or tender. The right knee appeared much larger anteriorly than the left knee. What is the most likely diagnosis? To summarize the key features, we have a mechanic and painless enlargement of both knees, which is asymmetrical, and there is no tenderness or warm sensation. All of this is very consistent with bursitis. The knee has multiple fluid-filled sacs around it. These sacs help mediate friction and also work as cushioning. They can be injured and damaged, and they will cause pain and inflammation. However, if they are chronically damaged, they will be enlarged with minimal pain. It is very important to notice that the patient has no pain in the active or passive movement. This excludes intraarticular problems like arthritis. Anterior bursitis is also known as maid's knee. This condition is often seen in mechanics, maids, or football players. Think of any profession where the anterior part of the knee can be damaged. And here are the guidelines, and of course they will be in the description. And so if we go back to the question, we now know, we now know that the patient has bursitis. Use the link below to get access to the full course, including many cases and hundreds of quizzes. Everything in the course is high yield and common topics that we see frequently in the exams. Basically, we sat down and looked through a large number of question banks, quizzes, and many repeated exams. The topics we've chosen for this course are the most repeated topics, so they are very, very common. Thank you for watching.